first we need to hold like this okay so it should be free you can use according to your comfortable dimension that's enough for me moving forward so here we got a deflection so we are going to make a point here Hello everyone, today we are at uh, Mr. Wycliffe Cherian's uh, plot in Alangulam. Alangulam, that means uh, the part of uh, Tengashi. He is my close friend. Okay, I call him as Wycliffe Achayan, as my elder brother. And apart from him, today with us, his father also available. So it's our pleasure to be with him. Behind the camera, Richard is there to operate the camera. Uh, as you already know in the previous episode, to how to make this instrument we need a copper rod it's almost 5 mm right you, yeah, yeah. he brought from the local market it's almost 5 mm you can uh, use any but uh, always try to use a little bit lighter that is always better uh, to straighten this rod we can use a hammer measurement tape and a cutting cutting tool you know need always this heavier but right now in this plot this is, this is available that's why we are using this otherwise you can simply use a combination plier so let's start. So we need to straighten this, try to straighten as maximum as possible. So don't try to straight in a single stretch, so that will be complicated. So slowly, slowly straighten the curves so that it will be easy for you to straighten this copper rod and uh, only focus on wherever the curves, sh short curves are there, slowly focus on that, finally you will get a straight and copper rod let's measure the length of the road it's almost to one meter you can see here so I'm just going to make two piece of uh, 50 centimeter half meter almost the same length the two pieces so now we can little bit more smoothen the straightness so both the roads are ready almost to be straightened it's okay that's enough so now we need to bend it for my hand, uh, approximately this much distance is comfortable. So, uh, almost 15. Okay, I'm using almost 15 centimeter. You can use according to your comfortable dimension. That's enough for me. Okay, so here onwards, let us make a bend here. Now our both the roads are ready. So we completed the manufacturing of the equipment. Equipment is ready. So before doing the actual uh, detection process, we need to test either the equipment is working or not. So with the help of little water, we need to ensure the equipment is okay or not. That's why. So we are keeping little water here. You can see. Okay. So I just kept the water here. Now the non source of water is available here. Keep both the roads free in your hands. It's like this. 
ensure it's free on your hand okay uh, rotate like this ensure it's free it should be free that's the main important thing and what i am going to do <coughs> keep both the hands nearer and give little hold from your body so that it should not vibrate when you are walking or you will get a better control over the rods and the important the important factor is uh, when you are lifting it up okay in a horizontal position what you need to do slightly keep it down slightly keep it down okay automatically by doing by experience you will get that angle but try to do little bit down so depend upon the force of the water source the gravitational force difference how much you are keeping it down it will be able to pull both the rods away depends upon the strength of the water source <coughs> so right now i am keeping both the rods parallel to each other okay and moving nearer to the non water source even though it's a non water source i am not looking into that i am looking into the camera you just focus on my hands what happening to rods okay so the same thing uh we will ask our wikli fachan to do the same test first we need to hold like this okay so it should be free it should be free okay yeah it should be free yeah and keep your body little bit yeah and try try yeah make it free and try so already uh, here the wind speed is high so i don't know you can you are able to uh, clearly listen it or not uh, i'm just moving forward moving forward yeah now you can see some uh, deflection is there so i reduced my speed and slowly moving yeah now i got a point here so in this point i'm not sure it's a point or it's a line so if it is a water stream it should be in a line so how we can understand we need to just walk around this point so again i am checking again on the same point the same deflection is there or not confirming again moving forward moving forward moving forward yeah so here something is there so i just keep a marking i just keep here a marking i'm not sure is that say water stream or not but i made a marking so it's a stream how we can understand we need to walk around I'm just going here yeah now i got a deflection here in this point parallelly let's walk here yeah now we got a deflection here already we got deflection there and deflection there so in between these two points again i am moving to identify it's a line or not yeah now we can understand the line is moving like this so again cross checking whether it's a line or not how we can do we need to move it here so moving forward moving forward yeah now again the deflection so it's a line over here if i move cross here yeah again the deflection so it's a line here we can mark
found a point here and we found a line here so we're making a marking here same like we made a marking here and there because we found it's a line see you can see here it's a line anywhere if you cross it's a deflecting here also it's a deflecting okay here also it's deflecting so in this line uh, any point if you cross it's uh, getting deflected deflected so in this line any point if you cross uh, it's a deflecting so it's a line so now to confirm it's a water stream what we did we checked the end of this stream we got both two wells approximately around uh, 150 meters away that side the same distance almost away that side around 200 meters something uh, that side also we got a well so we confirmed that uh, it's a confirmed in the sense uh, 99 percentage it's a water stream but one percentage still is there that is not in our hand but almost maximum probability to get this is the ground water because both the end of this line we got two wells connecting each other also we getting a the deflection finally we found a stream here and we made four markings with the helps of uh, uh, steel roads you can see here one two three four in a stream so now uh, our clients requirement almost same distance from both the fencing he need a well so now what we can do we need to find a cross stream so we already found a good stream good water stream uh, with the both the ends two wells are there open wells are available at a certain distance that's a good stream so now what we do we can make any point of this line uh, the uh, more point but what we'll do to get more probability to get the water we will find out an another source which is crossing this line so you can see here the fences are there so almost in this uh, area that's a convenient for the client so what we will do we will find out a cross uh, stream passing uh, in this area so let us find out uh, any water stream crossing here moving forward moving forward moving forward so here we got a deflection so we are going to make a point here it's an approximate uh, marking it's an approximate marking so we will do exact marking after this it's an approximate marking yeah it's okay it's okay so let us uh, move again move again okay move again we need to cross check whether that's a water stream or it's a point could you please could you please here yeah. okay, insert here crossing uh, cross checking whether it's a water stream or not by uh, doing the same process here this for our reference only it's a cross checking process it's a stream or not so now we can see it's coming in a stream so i'm doing same experiment at this side so again we got the deflection so it's a line now we need to find out the exact point so it's a precision job it's a precision job where the maximum maximum probability maximum probability got it here so 
one second so now what we'll do we'll make the same line So what we can do, let us, so how many times, try to do maximum time so that you will get the precision point. So do it again, again so that you will get, because various parameters will affect the testing, like wind etc. So how many times you will be able to cross check it, do it maximum. So it's one point. Finally, we completed uh, the point there. It's a very simple process, right? Oh, yeah. yeah so, you feel it's a very, any, anyone it's, can try, Anyone right? can do it, yes. Anyone can do it, okay. So, try in your home. Okay, but keep in your mind, the, the important thing is, it should be in a line. And the both the side, if you're getting a water source, then maximum probability is there. Okay. If one side, at least one side, I suggest. Okay. So, but all these things are probabilities. We cannot make anything 100 percentage but what we found is like that uh, this is the maximum probable method than other conventional methods so this found is something scientific process based on the deflection between the earth gravity and the human body's uh, charge uh, repulsion and attraction okay so hope uh, we hope uh, this uh, episode was helpful for you see you again with an, another episode thank you